I'll do the pan shot. There we are, I'll just start okay, at Pat, the blue pump. Uh, I've got half of you in it. Well, just come forward a bit, Harry. You, you yep. just need to go back a bit, Pat. Leaving Blinman. And something is rubbing on. Unnamed Creek, take a photo of the Mawson Trail sign. at lunch day one down by this raging torrent and at the other side down towards the uh, what's it called a pound? Uh, pound resort Where some of us are glamping some of us are glamping well this the whole place is a resort Uh, this is where we came to last night. What's that? This is where we came to last night. Yeah, no. Heading off from Wilpena Pound Res Resort, day two.
Munari, 12 months ago. Plant stop. end of day two setting up camp after 70 k's from Wapuna Pound Resort and what a view men setting it up his hoochie I'm going to be there on the ground Starting out day three. <laughs> Only 11 to go. Emergency water top up, just in case to be filtered. Rick's down there somewhere. at the Wanoka ruined water tank with a bird hide and Min's about to change his battery after getting nearly 100 k's on it. Oh. Be close, yeah, I think. Brew up. You got yeah, we did have to push up the rocky bit of that. Here comes the dust. And not much to go. The north south tele telegraph line. North south telegraph line that the early riders would have set their records along. Or did.
telegraph line. Storm pushing us into Hooker. Cruising long, tailwind. No power on. Doing 20 odd k's an hour. Perfect. And we are at the Hawker Hotel Motel in time for a late lunch. and a room for the night or heading out of Hawker still going well the Craddock pub was shut not open until 11 o'clock and so the dreams of a latte have evaporated into instant coffee and condensed milk and that's credit you can't see just over the hill. See the road. I see a road. Simmonston ruins. About to find out what they are. There are a few allotments in this splendidly situated town for sale. I would advise intending buyers to make their bargains at once. Well, they will lose the opportunity of getting an allotment in the healthiest town in the colony. <laughs> so real estate advertisements haven't changed. So here we are at the Centenary Plaque, it's 3.11pm uh, and Min's first battery's just run out at, what did we say? 77 didn't we? 77k. Yep, yep 77.63 I think. So we're going for battery number two. And we'll go on for another 20 minutes and look for a an LUP 
and then we'll decide whether we're going on tonight or not. It's 112 to Horn. There'll be some future mega classic up there. Yeah. Santos. Here we are having dinner before the last 20 k's in the corn. A recce of the road out of town for tomorrow's ride south. So far so good, but a screaming headwind and the weather's still coming from that direction. Another couple of k's, road's still fine. If it gets onto that red stuff though, it'll be rubbish. We'll just see what happens up here a bit. Turning off into a lesser quality road, we'll see how that goes. Not too bad, you just gotta watch where you're going. It's a bit hard to go and see what this little creek's like. <laughs> Road quality steps down a little bit. This will be the test. back out to the relatively improved track that's what it looks like it's starting to inhibit travel and that was as far as I got what day are we up to uh, four days riding two days rest day six we're up to day seven and we're leaving the corn caravan park and we're rigged rigged for rain and day travel it is lightweight gotta have the banana we go there's the austral over there and the cry and the continent intercontinental and there's the vague the vaguely clear sky local bike hang <laughs> cats scooping the birds away on the bowling green Turning between the transcontinental, not intercontinental, and the Austral. Going past the Kwandong Cafe where the brews were had. And today is a sealed road ride. Not trusting the mud. where the trail is over there somewhere being in not 
so sunny Wilmington some of the classics over there the odd cocky rain's hanging around tarmac's wet but we're not Sealed bike trail beside the highway. Hopefully, goes all the way into town. Min stopped. Cruising into Melrose. Masonic Lodge. A couple of spots of rain. <laughs> but they seem to have cleared. I wonder if Patrick Timmons goes there. We're looking for the bike shop. Uh, we're looking for the bike shop and lunch. Murray Town, flowing down to 60 kilometres an hour. I think I can see the other end of it. I'd just like to record that the Murray Town Mars Habitat toilet, pink, has the best quality toilet paper of any establishment on the trip so far. There's Min. Yeah. The metropolis it is, it has a hotel wonder if it's operating. This is the campground. Yeah. Flying down to 50. Traction engine. Little wood fired oven. And the digger. Own hut. The petting zoo. Well, we're just going to check the map to see if this is actually. Mawson or the rail trail. We're going to stick on it anyway. That's a good looking bike. Well, we're actually on the trail again and we're being welcomed to Laura.
here's the caravan park. And there's Min's car. Entrance 100 meters. The tent is nearly up. Over the road from the Baptist Church. few sprinkles last night as you can see on the road word has it that the trail from here to Spalding is okay just approaching the campground where the Outback Odyssey is reputed to have camped last night we haven't seen them come through so they might all still be asleep I doubt it though I doubt it. There's the showgrounds. There's the showgrounds. No one there. So far, so good. If the weather holds like this and the road, we'll get to Spalding. Spalding. On the road less travelled. By cars anyway. Dirt's a bit redder. See how we go. There's a bike track, but we have had some sprinkles last night. The old and the new. A couple of tricky sections back there. Maybe a couple ahead, but the road is climbing. Which is hopefully good. Well, here we are in the middle of farmland nowhere. The wind farm up there that we drove the other side of on the way up. Bit of a side sojourn into the forest. Kangaroo. Another bit of a change of country. Into farmland now with gates every less than a kilometre. There's the trail. Came down a long descent there, but I couldn't get my hands off the handlebars. But we're back out in the open farmland, and the sun is out in places. Out in the open country, and there's the sun. Abandoned dreams. Had those signs every 50 metres for the last, I don't know how many caves, I don't know what they're growing in there. And open farmland, denuded hills grass just coming through after the rain there's SA water there's more SA than water I think 
at the SA Water Dunny and Park to do some stretches and men's inside. We're following the aqueduct. That looks like the southern end of the wind farm. And Spalding is over there somewhere. Men approaching the fourth or fifth set, I can't remember. Fucking gates. Looks like Spalding over there now. Yep, there's a pub with our free camping out the back and a $10 tower. Here's Pat. There's a cop shop up there. Here's the setup at the back of the Spalding pub. Put you over the bike. Bivy bag laid out. And Rich Carr, he's drying out the tent and they're inside. Pizza for dinner. Here's a pussy cat come to say hello in the morning. Yes. Start yet leaving the Spalding, Spalding. Hotel. Spalding Hotel. Hotel rear car park slash camping area. On our way to Hallett and Borough for the latest start yet at 10.02. Hanging bridge out of Spalding. The bars at the other end not quite wide enough for the bikes. There you go. Coming back in at the bottom end of that range of wind farms. Just saying. Then conserving his battery too. Believe it or not, we just walked up that hill which is actually flat because of the headwind wind's going up the top and it apparently turns the bottom down so it's a bit of relief here we go forgot to mention the reason we did that is that we're both trying to conserve a battery we've got to get 130 k's in these conditions and some big hills and Min has to conserve two batteries, so I'm working on one. So here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Won't be an exact tailwind, but it will be something. Let's go and see how fast it is. Now that wind farm that was way off in the distance, we did go north to that lunch here that's where we're going Just come down from that hill up there. Top, I don't know if you can see the tree. That took about two minutes, two and a half minutes. Three k's. Three k's she was. And now we turn into it again.
Yeah, that tree up there. All I needed to do for a while, the young bloke can't jump the fence. So, they just kept going. Been going about a K. Run into Hallett now. Our wind farms are largely behind us. About three to four K to go. And be glad to be there. Yeah, we could just go right straight to the barrel on the left. We could. But we know we're not going to. after hamburger, ice cream, some uh, uh, staminade, Gatorade and uh, just a general rest for an hour. We're heading up there, there's a, there's a hut apparently on the Heisen Trail, just off the Mawson Trail, but we might dive in there. It cuts off about 8 k's too, so the batteries will be no drama, and we'll get to have a fire. That's our digs for tonight. We're off the Mawson Trail on the Heisen Trail. This is one of the stops they have. Apparently there's toilets, fire, bunks, all that sort of good stuff. Mawson Trails over behind us there, probably on the wall the other side of the ridge. This looks much more slippery. I may have been mistaken. Min's taken off down the track there. So it would have been a nice old place to stay in. Probably haunted. It is fenced off. Oh, that might be down there with those green buildings. <laughs> Toilets, water tank, etc. It's pretty good too. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Goiter line. Hey? Mattresses. I can't have that. Can't have that. This is a thunderbox and there's real toilets here. Church over there, place is probably haunted. Good looking boy. I left a blue strap back at Hallett. Here, water tank, more picnic, spare chairs for partying. Pots and pans. There might be water in the tank too. There's bait laid in this hut, rat sack, Hasten Trail, Mount Bryan East School. You are here. Fire extinguisher, blackboard. Look at this. Bunks. Get a good sleep tonight. There's two. It's for the kids. We got an evacuation plan.
So make sure you read the evacuation plan in there. There's one on the board. Go and have a look at the church. That's an abandoned church. Bit of history here. They had the cook up afterwards. Back on the other side again now. Of the line. Of the line. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so what's that do? Uh, rain. Rainfall. So it, there's more on one side, or it oh, stops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much more. So, so these guys on this side. Uh, these guys are 12, 14 to 12 inches a year. Right. But it's predictable, it's winter. And the other one? Uh, they can do it for 20, I don't know, 20. Right. Brian East School. It's got Mawson Trail, so we're back on it here, are we? No, no. Uh, where's it said? Yeah, well, I think it used the Mawson Trail, it used to go through loop around the top. Right. Fire going. Should be a warm night. The sunset at the school. We found another whole new bunk room and lounge room and kitchen and fireplace. A day whatever it is, one more than the last one and we're leaving the Mount Bryan East School. One of the highlights of the trip. Some roos trying to negotiate the fence. Men's going to go down the hill. There's the wind farms from yesterday way over there and that road weaving through the saddle is where we're going come 11.1 16 kilometers an hour Brew stop, heading back towards the wind farm. Found a bottle of water on the road, just filtering into the brew mug for a brew. And we've got signal, so check a bit of correspondence. That's a good looking bike. Conservation park for the naturally treeless tussock area. There's one tree. Men's fixing the sign. Gonna roll down there. Then swing left. Head down to Burra. Booning downhill towards Burra. Oh, 
Reformatory School, just coming into Borough. It's obviously where the staff students. Bobby. Well, here we are, about to set off from Borough, from the Lavender Cottage. We're in lightweight mode now because we're in the latte country, latte and winery country. Riesling Trail. The Riesling Trail. So it should be pretty comfortable. We're about, or whatever that says, out of Borough, and which is back there. And apparently we stay on this road for what a while. Some sprouting after the rain. Or maybe rain before that. Up a bit of a hill for a vent stop. to a break, a break. <sighs> and the downhill. Up the top of that hill. And it's fairly Getting close to Claire now. Some vineyards are starting to appear. And wheedling down another hill. Cling trail, which comes off the Mawson Trail but goes through Clear anyway and it's off the main drag. Min's about to show me on the map. Now I've got to change maps mate. Oh. Claire Nursery Cafe. Back on the track again, heading out of Claire. Quite different country now on the combined Riesling and Mawson trails. More grapes for one thing. And there's the platform for Seven Hill. Seven Hill out of town railway line. We've reached the highest point. We're heading for Auburn and then Riverton. Thought it felt a little bit uphill at the former Watervale railway station. The cellar door back there, Min wanted to stop at, but there'll be plenty more. Downhill to Auburn, it's only about 6 k's away, with wineries everywhere. Free Wi-Fi. Rising Sun bike hire. 
Yeah, all right. When in autumn. Go. We're going to go on the Riesling Trail. Going on the rail trail. Mawson Trail's over there somewhere. But we will join up with it again. And now we've got cows. Dairy cows. Dairy cows. Freezing. Is that? Yes. Ks to Auburn and we've got some olive trees. Coming into Riverton among the she oaks. Established 1856. We're at the caravan park again. And not a bad day. And the caravan park is actually at the footy ground. Are pretty happy with 87k and it's still showing four bars. Um. Leaving Riverton where the can't see it now, cop shop is right over the road from the pub. Which gonna find? Yeah. Quite a tidy little place. Riverton. After a bit of a climb, we're over the other side of the range on the eastern side into some uh, wooded farmland, sheep country. In a crossroad and two trail bikers were uh, coming right angles to us avoided the collision but what are the odds of it and now we've got shortly after that a cyclist coming the other way we'll see if he wants to stop for a chat I think he might farm farm gate heading up that hill where Min is here's the bike she's pretty light today the top of the hill up there and this is where we're heading and Min should be back there To Kapanda, past the showground, by the look. And the coffee, I'm thinking. One 
Night Kite, Coffee Shop, Stop. So leaving Kapanda now. Another tidy little place. Old Kapunda, what's copper and gold mine? Yeah, smelting works. Yeah, smelting works. Yeah. Got their own telescope. Or recompression tank. Been having a resort near a couple of furrows. Coming into Nuriupta, and then we're going on to Tananda, I think. So, not far to go. Cruising in through Nuriupta. And on to Tananda. There's men in the bike lane. This is the bike pass. About to head out on a leisurely day. It's 10 o'clock. And. Day 13, I remember now. Is it day 13? Yep. Oh, I'm going to add them up at the end. Righto. See you on the track, Pat. Climbing and having been climbed, climbing from the floor down there. Uh, settlement down there is pretty much where we came from. Out around and up this hill which you can't see but you can see how high it is and we're continuing around there the Jacobs Creek vineyard one of them More niceness. Stop, lightweight meal uh, in anticipation of there being a town between now and Birdwood, but there's not so 
sort of a racing stop. Familiar sort of terrain. This is a put the camera away hill. Vlogging. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, it's on the road anyway. We are coming into Birdwood. <laughs> coffee, uh, breakfast and, and condiments um, prior to leaving on our last ride, last riding day from Birdwood to Adelaide. So, so, yeah. Into the mountain bike trail area. Some steep ups and downs, mainly downs. Adelaide's over there somewhere. We are making noisy hard work of this incline. We might just beat the weather. There we go. Nearing the end of the trail, long downhill, sealed. And there's Adelaide over there. It's a big dam. Away we go. Here comes Mint from right up there. Have I mentioned that's a good looking bike? the official end of the trail but this leads into town quite pleasant it is I think we'll be right
actually blows just where our RV is at the oval.